Hello. In this uh, video, we're going to um, take an existing application that is currently just uh, built in uh, JDeveloper and not part of any repository. And um, decide that, uh, gee, this is kind of a nice app. Maybe I should put it in a repository so that I don't mess up. And so that's what I'm going to do. Um, I am going to show you how to create an existing uh, Git, uh, or create an, a, a Git repository and then put this um, application on it. So first thing we're going to do is go out to Git, or should I say GitHub, where I have my repository. Okay, I have um, gotten out to GitHub and I am signed in, and you can see that I have a couple of repositories here. I am going to create a new repository and remember to initialize it. And we're going to call this one Gateways. Now, uh, anybody here is willing, free to download this, but um, I am not going to be giving anybody access to this. And I'd appreciate it if you don't try to contact me about it because I will not answer. I'm doing this um, out of my free time and I really don't have a lot of time to um, do this, but um, because I'm cheap, I'm making this public so anybody can access it. And we're going to create a new repository I think okay here we go and now you can see that it's basically started and you can see now that I have the URL go back into J developer and I am going to clone that um, actually hold on let me close this just for let's save it and then close application just get that out of the way in case anything gets overwritten uh, we're going to call this gateway and the U remote URL. Okay, so now we have created, we are going to create a new project from the files. And I've actually displayed this in another one. But um, for those who don't know how to do this, it might be helpful. So we're going to call this first one git. And that basically says, hey, um, the git directory is going to have, or git project, I should say, is going to house all of the git related files. And uh, you can see that here there's no application name, so we're going to come up here and rename it. And you can see that there's got no name here. And um, you'll note that this is gateways1 because I have another directory called gateways out there. So now we're going to save it. Now, this is helpful here. I wish they actually had a go to explore or view and explore, but you can copy the path of this directory here. Okay, and you can see here that I have the original one, which has the gateway directory here. I'm just going to copy that, and I'm going to place it in the directory here for the gateway 2, where the gateway 1 is, which is the new version. We'll go back into JDeveloper and do open project. We have to go up a little ways. and Actually, we did not. Gateway is the directory, and the gateway JPR is what we want. To pull in. Okay, we've got the application uh, or the project imported here, and um, do not confuse it what is written in the Git directory. But uh, open up here, and you can see that we have our process here. But you can see also from the icons here that um, it is not um, properly. Uh, committed to the repository and you can see that we have a number of candidates here and then the outgoing and um, press that first no files to add okay we can just put those in depending on uh, the state of the file so now we're up to speed however uh, we have not and I'm, I'm just going to go over here and make sure that there's no hat okay everything seems to be out there we have not forced it out to the 
uh, gateway here, you can see that there's only the README file. So what we're going to do next is, uh, and I like to click on the application lest you accidentally just push the one project out here. We're going to push it and uh, I'm going to push out the master. And now, if we click on this again, we can see that we have all of the files that we have uh, in the master out on the repository. And now it's possible to make any mistake you want. <laughs> and you have a backup. So that's how uh, you would take an existing application and put it into a Git repository.